Well, you just miss the sunset, but it's beautiful out tonight. Wait for that thing to bob. I like to get some bait. Uh, try to get some bait, throw something out here for a little bit. You're under, dude. You're under. Fish on. All right, we got one. Look at this guy. Nice, nice gill. Ooh, nice gill. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Nice big old mouth. Beautiful gill. Oh, he's peeing. Live action. Live action. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful gill. You can get a bunch of those. That's that's a good size. Nice blue gill. Cloud 10. All right. All right, welcome to MTV Jigs Edition. Tour the tackle box. So this is my tackle box, and we're just going to show you some of the stuff I keep inside there. Some quick slip bobbers, spring bobbers, slip bobbers different sizes depending on what I'm fishing for I've got a lot of stuff up here quick and easy access even some tiny tiny little do a lot of pan fishing so these are pretty cool these are my night bobbers put a little glow stick inside there and then you can see it at night a lot easier there's some of my Some in there, you put them on, or they'll strap on the outside of one too. A regular bobber with a rubber band. That's more stuff over here. Just opened this the other day, but I found this new old stock number one reel and gun oil by Catch Match Master, and uh, it seems to work pretty good. A little Zippo. Some river weights. A new tip for a rod in case I break it. Black light. Extra rigging. That kind of stuff up here. Just quick stuff in case I need it. Alright, let's get into my tackle box. Hopefully you guys do some uh, tackle box tours. I know I've seen some of them out. Let's keep this going. The MTV Jigs Edition. It's my tackle box video jigs edition. But So just give us a tour of your tackle box. Label MTV Jigs. And uh, hashtag, it, hashtag it MTV Jigs. Got a... Uh, Nice old ruler, fishing ruler, some uh, locking hemos to get the, uh, well, I don't use them too much, but that's to get the hooks out. Got some uh, fly line cleaner with float coat. It's old stock, but it's still good. Pick some of this stuff up at whatever. I do have some flies, multiple colors. 
I don't just use a fly rod. I use this for bait fish too. Uh, just on a rod and reel. Uh, but I also use, will use flies on my fly rod, which I do have. I got a a uh, fillet knife, and I have a smaller one of these. A couple of these, but they're in my like I guess bug out bags, you'd say. But they're just like quick and easy camping, hiking, whatever bags, and I have various things in them. This I'm actually going to be giving away. The Shakespeare Alpha. I have uh, bought two of these. I have one on a reel. I don't do a lot of this bait casting, so uh, somebody's going to win this very shortly who uh, is subscribed to this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the like button for this video. I've got the uh, tackle box that I won on um, the Stock Explorers channel. And it was given away by Woman Outdoors. And I have this in here. This has got a lot of neat little tackle in it. I'm pretty set on my rigs and I have just about everything I need. You'll see. This is just a quick grab panfish bag. Got these light sticks. Uh, I take the batteries out so that they don't, they're in there, but I don't leave them in there so they don't tear it up this is a 90s it's a lantern flasher you can put it in jugs i got a couple of those do some jug fishing i do have some nylon cord for jug fishing all you really need is a bottle then gatorade bottle something like that and you can go night fishing i have a treble hook in here in case i need it I have some uh, extra large catfish hooks got some signal rod signals all your catfish stuff's in here. I have various uh, line and weight and color. Uh, most of this is for panfish, but I have some fire line and some 20 pound tests. But most of my uh, catfish poles are all strung up already, the spider wire. And so I don't need a lot of extra. I mean, I have a lot of extra on there. But, uh, got a, this is, ex, you know, extendable. It locks. It's got little pin locks. You can put as high or low as you want. Hand warmers, rod, or, uh, fishing hook sharpeners, um, minnow net, minnow net, a couple of them, and a bubbler. That's in the top of here. It's kind of extra stuff that's built up. All right, now let's get inside. Over on this side, other than these extra weights I have in there in case, hidden, I got a lot of uh, slip sets, uh, multiple kinds. I can show you some of them. Some are the rope ties. Some of them are these little twisty plastic ones where you wrap it around three times. Some of them are these wire ones. And you just pull them through your line that kind of compresses to it. Uh, these are okay, but they, they're float, so they wear out. Um, got a few more of those down there. I picked these up, any garage sale, things like that. Got some tie sets here. You just put your line through, pull this out. That uh, black thing split, you pull it off, and you just tie that tight. And then that, you can slide. That's for your slide bobbers, those of you that don't know. So you can go down to 30 feet and still have a bobber. Um, this will wind up into your reel. So during the day when the fish aren't biting, you can go to the deep holes, find some of those big crappie and red ear down on the bottom. All right, so got some tiny little hooks, which I do use a lot of little hooks. Got some inline swivels, split shots, 
some rusty hooks. I like these long shank hooks. I like number 10s. This is probably a 7. I like these little number 10 long shanks. 12s maybe. They're easier to get out of the panfish if they swallow them. And they're small rounds so they can swallow them pretty easy but not too small. So a lot of these short shanks I don't use, but got some various uh, barrel slip weights, some swivel weights, uh, maybe a bobber I found, do it in there. Got a lot of jigs here. Uh, both for panfish and bass. This was put in with a worm, a live worm. Because I put live worms in here when I find them uh, out fishing. But got a lot of little stuff good for crappie. Little mouse are here. These crickets are really good for uh, perch and crappie. Got a little crawdad there. Uh, this one's really good for various fish little popper a little mouse popper various stuff just to try you know you never know different fi fish are picky sometimes and depending on where you're at you never really know what you're gonna need so I like to have a lot of different things I, I feel like I'm missing a frog I think there was another frog there and then I, I got some uh, soft bait here that are frogs. I just shove into the side there so there's some extra space in there. All right, so here we got, uh, let's take out this first one. A lot of soft baits, small jig heads. I was using this to catch uh, gills last night. Uh, look like fake worms, little fake uh, crawled out of me. Open this up so there's no glare. Got some gulps. Uh, look like minnows so that'd be good for crappie and stuff these little wiggle worms right here are really nice here's a brown one i like the black with the white spot there that works really good for bass especially off the bank uh, got some other like gulpy things got some good trolling if you were trolling type fish some twister tails um some little yellow twister tails just various baits and jigs Oop. now this is just a uh, tackle box tour this isn't I'm not really showing you how I do my rigs and stuff that could be maybe a different uh, video but Got some uh, walleye rigs and stuff already set up. The Erie, uh, Deary, the Deary Erie. Got some feather tails, some lead heads, a lot of sinker heads. Good for walleye. This is a good walleye box. And then this bottom box, also walleye jigs mostly. Um, some floater heads. Some long floater heads, a lot of twisty tails, some inline spinners. So, and those uh, walleye, depending on the day and overcast, they hit on different colors, especially when they're running. Um, so that's why there's a lot of different stuff in there. Just, you got to change it up. So that's my tackle box. I have a lot of little tackle boxes too, but this is the one I keep for my main, uh, you know, basically it's got everything in it. And then I also have a bag here that I usually have prepared. Bring some sort of a net, usually a bigger one. I really want to upgrade that to a, a flat side triangle net instead of that one. You can see I've repaired it because I've caught fish in there so big it broke it. But I need to upgrade that. This has just got some saws, a stove, um, some other things like this camp tool to make 
camp stools and tables, paracord in case I need it, uh, camp saw, and then uh, I have uh, this rod I use a lot for bigger fish, walleye fishing. This is actually a walleye setup, but I was fishing for catfish on a in a lake or a pond, so didn't need heavy weight. Normally I rig it up different for catfish, um, especially in the river, but I was in a pond fishing catfish, so I didn't change my walleye rig. Just put a bigger hook on it. And then you can see this, this is what I was catching uh, bluegill off of, just that little plastic worm looking thing. And they were biting really good. And I have a little flip bobber here, split shank. Oh, I'd say it's, the weight's probably 10 inches off that. And I was fishing about, well, at the very tip there is my stop. So I was fishing, oh, four feet probably deep and probably eight feet of water. And it was late. This is my new rod I just got. I was trying it out. I don't know if I like it or not. It's, it's an Abu Garcia Max medium flex. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. You're gonna get it. It's not gonna read it. Dang it. That says uh, six foot medium quarter, five ounce lure. Uh, it's just a regular closed face reel. The gear ratio is 431 monofilament. Uh, eight pound line 110 yards but i got it for 17 dollars and 50 cents 50 percent off clearance I, I don't know how much it was it was like 70 dollars maybe i don't like the handle so much i think that's why it gets real thin right here but i do like the fact i usually hold it back here like this actually so i don't know it cat it, it casts good I don't know if I like it or not. I like my ugly sticks. All right, guys, let's see your uh, tackle box tours. I'm excited. MTV jigs. Welcome to the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorillas channel. We are so glad you found us. We encourage you to keep finding the art in everything. Please like and share this video, and remember to subscribe to our channel. We want to thank the Vineyard Chicks, Mary Ranch. Timbrook family for being long-term Patreon supporters. Their links are in our description.